Lord, how come they keep shooting us? Ooh, yeah, how come they keep shooting us? Ooh, I wanna know. How come they keep shooting us? Mm-hmm, it ain't right. It ain't right. Where they take our lives? How come they keep shooting us? What I'ma tell my sons? How come they keep beating us? Ooh. And what I'ma tell my daughters? How come they keep shooting us? Uh. Does anybody know out there it ain't right? It ain't right. Where they take our lives? How come they keep shooting us? Ooh. Cell phones in our hands. How come they keep killing us? Uh. With candy in our hands. How come they keep killing us? Uh. And they get away with it all the time Cause it ain't right It ain't right Where they take our lives Where they take our lives How come they keep shooting us? Uh, Mothers wanna know out there How come they keep shooting us? Uh, Fathers wanna know out there They keep shooting us uh, Will we ever feel safe again? Cause it ain't right It ain't right Where they take our lives Where they take our lives Come, they keep shooting us. Yeah, uh, uh, mm, uh, they keep shooting us. Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. I am your host, Sincere on Beats. Yes, I am. Thank you for tuning in to us, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, the evening. I don't know what time you are tuning in, but thank you for stopping by. Shout out to our sponsors, beautypar.com, B-E-A-U-T-E-P-A-R.com. Without them, we're not able to do what we are doing when we could do it, when we can do it. Yes. So right now, we're only able to do it once a month because our scheduling conflicts with other scheduling out here. (laughs) But hopefully, we will get back to our normalized regularly scheduled which is weekly every tuesday so hopefully we will get back to that shortly oh my goodness we got a lot of things to talk about today Ooh, we got a lot of things to talk about first i want to um i want to say thanks to bnc news bnc they are a black news platform and outlet Oh my goodness, yes. I found them on YouTube. Uh, They are committed to telling the truth, people. Telling the truth. Unlike other media outlets, they tell our truth. They tell our truth, people. You know how much that means? That means a lot. So BNC provides in-depth analysis and viewpoints that illuminate contextualize and celebrate people of color and their experiences so yes shout out to bnc you gotta check them out they also have a their own network on um on tv i'm not sure if it's national but since we are here in atlanta georgia there are they are on tv and on youtube so go check it out BNC. So now we have to jump right into the Ahmad Arbery case. We have to talk about this, people. We got to talk about the <laughs> racist defense attorney on how he shocked the courtroom the other day. Let me tell you what this joker said. This joker said, We don't want any more black pastors. Coming in here Think about that for a minute We don't want any more black pastors Coming in here In this public courtroom Let me mind you This is not a closed hearing It is open to the public So anybody is welcome As long as they are not being disruptive Or causing any Rhetoric in the courtroom (sighs) 
But you know who broke that story? One of the one of the ones who broke that story and went up to this attorney. BNC News. That's how I found them. They went up to this attorney and asked him questions. And they were not scared about asking no questions. That's worth something, guys. That is worth something. So, you know, the, the attorney want to issue an apology. <laughs> uh, I feel... I feel like he shouldn't apologize. Why do I feel like that? Because that's what he felt in his heart. He went on a three-minute tantrum about why nobody, why no black pastors should be in this courtroom. And then the apology only took 30 seconds. And I could tell it wasn't sincere. It's not sincere. He's only getting backlash from it. And that's the only reason why he apologizes. Don't apologize for what you believe. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. I'm a firm believer of that. Now we see you, buddy. <laughs> we see you for who you are. So it doesn't matter what you say. Because you said it. And we see who you are, you know. Um... Yeah, so uh, people, people, people. This is the world we are living in. But he felt like it was okay. He was comfortable enough to say that in the courtroom. Very inappropriate. But thank you. Thank you for saying that. So after the, after this court case is over, we're going to see what's going to happen to this guy. I want to say he's finished, but... Who knows nowadays? Who knows? But that's why it's very important for black people to stick up for themselves and stand up for what is right, you know, and protect yourselves uh, in every way that you can. In every way that you can, you know. Um, this is a sad case. And it's making everybody uh, throw these people underneath the bus. They got to throw Omar's killers underneath the bus because it's too big. You know, it's way too big. There was one of the t detectives initially had told um, Omar's mother that he had broken into somebody's house and there was an altercation in which he got murdered, murdered, which wasn't the case. But then when he testified on the stand, that never even came up. Just think about that for a minute. That never came up. You know, this thing is too big. You know, all eyes on the Ahmad Berry case. Personally, I don't think this these 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 murderers are going to get off. I don't think they're going to get off. You know, uh, they shouldn't get off. <laughs> but I don't think they 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 they're going to get off because. It's too much at stake here. You know, the, the defense attorney, he's nervous. You know, I'm not even going to get into the jury, how there's only one black juror. I'm not going to get into that because we already know that that is unfair in this country, how when there's a black person on trial, how they treat us. So we're not, we're not even going to go there. But let's go and jump into... Kenosha And we gotta talk about The crybaby Kyle Rittenhouse He looks stupid up on the stand Crying Or fake crying Whatever he was doing You know um, I'm pretty sure his lawyers Tell him to do that You know uh, Personally you have to do What you gotta do To try to get off your case Without telling I don't believe in telling You know if you're gonna tell Cool Tell on yourself but don't tell on anybody else. You know what I mean? But that's 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 another story for another podcast, another day. I don't know why 6ix9ine came in my head. I, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but oh my goodness. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. That's another situation. That's not really um, a hate crime. So I'm, I'm not really paying attention to that. Although I do think that his mother should be uh, She should have some charges put on her For taking her son over there to uh, Kenosha You know across lines with a weapon 
You can't tell me she didn't know what her son had in the vehicle. You can't tell me that. Although his family is from Kenosha, his dad and his aunts and everybody else is in Kenosha. You know, uh, I think the prosecutor screwed this one up if he gets lesser charges. Because the prosecutor should have did a better job, in my opinion, on disproving self-defense. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but mm, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, a lot of people got misconstrued about how the judge is handling things. Uh, yes, the judge is a hothead. He's known for being a hothead. So I think that interfered kind of with um, this 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 trial. You know, people didn't understand what's going on. I really, I, like I said, I haven't really been watching it. I've been getting a little highlights here and a little highlights there. Because my focus is on this Ahmad Berry case. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. I'm watching it like a hawk in the sky. You know? But back to Kenosha, I think the National Guard has been called up just in case this dude gets uh, gets off. Because, you know, what can happen over there? You know, with the riots and the looting and all of that stuff may happen. And if it does happen, I think it's just a few people that's just going to call cause mayhem. I don't think it's a, a, it's a whole lot of people that will do it. You know, but if you're going to protest, you have a right to protest. I'm all for people protesting, you know, um, whether they racist or not. Go ahead, protest, but do not bother anybody else during your protest. You don't have to be racist by your pro by protesting. You know. So anyway, that's another situation. That's another story. I just had to come and bring you guys an update on what's going on with the Ahmad Arbery case. Again, they are bringing pastors across the country to come to the court case because of this idiot defense attorney. <laughs> That's funny to me, man. I don't apologize. Don't apologize for what you mean and what you said. You know, I don't I don't mm -mm. I don't believe in that. So people of color, my black people, please, please protect yourself. Keep your eyes and your ears open. Be aware. Wherever you go to certain places, you have to be aware. I heard about um, in Texas on Halloween, there were uh, some, co some high school students put on the KKK outfit. And then they went to tase some black kids they tased black kids so you guys want to might want to look into that as well in texas i forgot which part of texas but this stuff's been going on but black people is not we're not taking it no more you know shout out to shout out to white people who are not racist and who really want to see change shout out to you guys you know we appreciate if you trying to make a difference. We appreciate it. But it's a different time. It's a different day. You just can't treat black people any kind of way anymore. We're standing up, people, for ourselves. Oh, my God. Yes, we are. So I'm not going to be with you long. I'm just, you know, wanted to bring you something, you know, and say hello. I missed you guys. We're working on something big coming up. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to tell you what it is, but we are working on something big. Also, go to musicdiarygroup.com. Shout out to Graham Thomas for being the artist of the month. Yes, um, we have some good music from Erica Mason, Mike Busy, Rain Canis, and again, Graham Thomas. You have to go to the featured artists to listen to their music. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. You know, these guys, I see them grow, especially Graham. I see him grown. I seen Erica grown. You know, her music took a took took a, a great turn for the better. Like, 
she's growing as an artist. And I think that's very important. You know, shout out to my man, SD Bullock. He has a uh, Instagram show called The Power of the Pen. The Power of the Pen. You guys need to go check that out. That is... Um, that is, uh, I want to say, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Got to check that show out. It's fly. So, you know, he was the one on the intro. So, shout, shout, shout out to Estes Bullock. SD Bullock. <laughs> oh, man, I be butchering people's name all the time. But, yeah, man. We are out of here. Thank you for tuning in to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment where we highlight music, inspirational music from great artists. So, yo, if nobody ever told you that they love you, remember, we do. Peace out.